Hello, everybody. Like that. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry. Technical problems as ever. You know what it's like. Right, so we were talking very briefly about last night's investigation where we had a word come through that we all heard and I just said that we'd had similar before and I'm trying to remind Jill about the moan that we heard in Victoria Halls, which you might have been there. I don't in think the it was. cellar. In the cellar. Which that I dismissed. That you dismissed. Now let's see if we can hear it. Did you just miss it? Let's see that one. Did you hear that? That was like a whale. I weren't there for that one. Weren't you? No, it was like a. I'm moving the glass, please. That's a moan scream. It was traffic outside. It was definitely no, it was traffic. not traffic. No. You're not coming to me on that one. You said to me, it sounds like a fox. Yeah. There was something outside. And me and Sue both no. went, that was, was not outside. Yeah. That was a voice. So that's yeah. like a... No. See what I mean? But I think this is really, really positive. Mm. That it sounded like a dog howl. It did. Yeah. It did. Yes, it I grant you. Like it was I grant you. That's on the video though. <laughs> when we were there, it sounded like a, a, a moan. That's what I would have said. Becky, no. definitely not traffic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... But, I don't know, it's my opinion, that's all it was. Yeah. And the fact is that I was so overjoyed in that moment until you pissed all over it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, I have to now consider whether I, um, it's things have been reversed yeah. and I'm thinking it's, it's something that it isn't. Yeah. And so ever since that, even though many other people in the room said it was what I said, <laughs> I've always held the belief that I was wrong. So every time I repost that video, it's like, what do you think? Because I cannot, in good conscience, say uh, I think it's a You've been married to debunk it. It's your fault that I debunked it. Yeah. You shouldn't have taught me how to do it. But <laughs> I, think, I think this is the, um, the value of, of scepticism in our team that is why our evidence... I can't say it's the best. I'm just saying that it, it's good and it's it works. It's rational. It, it's rational, yeah. 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 Um, it has to pass quite a lot of tests before we'll call it paranormal. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is last night, we were all 100% with that last night. There was no question, yeah. was there? There was nobody saying, oh, come on, guys. No. And we there was like, like seven of us, I yeah. think. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and it's not just a thing of we all, we all heard that and we don't have it on, on recording. We heard it back, so we know that when that video is edited and or Ben senses it earlier, we we're gonna properly hear something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was absolutely fantastic. Um, so this, I always talk to you about skepticism before we get on anything else. Um, and I had this picture sent to me. I got in quite the quite the row last week. No, it's me wearing the white ash hoodie. And um This is Jill with a White House hoodie. I've just got a I just buy spooky looking hoodies. So <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Um right, so I went on another another Facebook page and this woman she'd had no comments but she put up some photos saying a little bit of a story and then can anybody help? And I just personally messaged her saying Oh, right, you know, you might have ghosts in your house, but have you considered that this picture is just steam? Oh, and then she's clo closed in on it. And I, at first, I didn't know what she was talking about. It's just steam to me. Now, I can see something looking at it like Yes, that. now that... Yeah. And she said, oh, this is this is my mother. And and when I, when I saw it, I was ready for, like, more like that, to go, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. But... When she did show me, she, she said, that is my mother. However, she sent me a picture of her mum, which I'm not going to broadcast. I'll admit, I saw the picture... And you were not convinced. ...of the mum after I saw that. Yeah. And I thought it was a bit uncanny, though, innit? Yes. I totally admit it's uncanny. 
I have to say, I can see it there after I've seen the picture of her mum. Right. When you originally showed it yeah. to us, no, I couldn't see anything. But because you know what you're looking for, potentially. Yeah. Again, it makes even us look at it differently. Yeah. Yeah. I think when you're looking at a picture that appears to be a face, I think you build a picture, your brain sort of does the work for you where it, it gives that face features. Mm. And that's what mm. my brain did for me with that before I saw the picture of her actual mum. Yeah. But then her mum looked like that. I was so, impressed with how, yeah. I, could, I, I said, I can see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. But that's as far as I'm going. Yeah. I said, but have you considered that the brain does this? And I was giving her examples and she were like, well, well, mine is steam on the it's steam. It's not, it's not a fabric on a cushion. It's not smoke in a mm. cloud. Yeah. And she just won't have it. And uh, got very, <laughs> very annoyed at me. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's, I, I, on, Lucy's, on Lucy's page, I, you know, now it's all, all smoothed out. And, but I, I've been seeing these pictures of, of nothing, essentially, and understanding where everyone's coming from. But it's like a roller coaster for me. Because in the first year, we were all doing this. The team was all like, what have we got here? What have we got there? Yeah. Zoom in. And eventually, it's like, it's nothing there, is there? We're just wanting it to be something. It's, it's weird how people are... Cl- I remember Simon, Simon and I's first house that we had, we rented. Um, and it being newly done out and everything. But we ended up moving because the pa- wallpaper on the chimney breast in the living room that it's sitting in front of every night had a face in it yeah within the pattern of it and i got so obsessed oh, with that yeah mm. that I, I just i couldn't settle that yeah because i really felt like no matter where i went within that living room a yeah. Face looking at yeah there's somebody watching that yeah. yeah i suppose it's one of those isn't it it's where <clears throat> you can look at a picture like that one as an example of the steam which is steam to me i think that is steam but for me, the question is, do spirits send you messages by manipulating your mm. surroundings? Mm. Like, I wouldn't say that that's a ghost of a woman stood on the other side of the window. No. I don't think I would no. go that far. I do think that that is a face in some steam. But it's the question bathroom. comes yeah. for... Yeah, is... Or oh, a mirror. Mm. Yeah, but the question for me comes from what is the... <coughs> meaning of it and i suppose with these kinds of things you can't say 100 percent ever can you no, no. all you can really do is rule everything else out yeah so but it is very interesting and if it if spirits do that to give comfort to somebody then hopefully it works for that lady you know i think she was looking for somebody to to verify verify it, it when yeah. to me you can't, can you really? Like somebody just sort of said, oh, look, people who are grieving will always see what they want to see. Mm. It's, it's a comfort. comfort. And that's yeah. the way we, yeah. we were talking about the other day in between us all. Mm. Yeah. Is that, you know, you take what you want, don't you? If you see it and it's something that gives you that warm yeah, feeling. a message. Then why not? Yeah. Mm. You know, it's the same like if we're doing an investigation and something personal comes through, you know, are we going to take comfort from it? Even though we're potentially... Or was it? I want it. Mm. But at that moment, if you want to take comfort from it, you're going to. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I think it's probably the same for anybody in any way, shape or form in how you see it. You know, it's like the knots in your what in your dark there, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. I could go, oh, there's a face there. Yeah. You know, we all see things differently and it's what you want to take from it. Yeah. Now, you speak from experience because you, <coughs> you had a personal loss. I think what kind of got you more into mm. it, didn't you? Yeah. And so you were on that path to look for contact yeah, in a lot well, of ways. Yeah. So, yeah, that is, you, you were someone who, who has that angle. Yeah. Someone just said, um, Ellie said, it's like the there was some salt, it was an underpass. A uh, comment's gone now, but I think I remember what she said. It was like an underpass and some salt was running down the wall and it was in the shape of yeah. the Virgin Mary and people started worshipping it. It's the same sort yeah. of thing, isn't it? Yeah. In, in all the world of all the patterns that can be formed from rain, yeah. mm. whatever, there's going to be, you know, yeah. on the chances of it, there's going to be Jesus on a piece of toast. Yeah. There's going to yeah. be... Yeah. So it is difficult because you can't categorically say that's a ghost. Yeah. Can you? No. 
It's like crowd watching, isn't it? You see, mm. mm-hmm. we could all be laid in a line and we'd see three different things. Yeah. You know, the same as like when we're doing this, you know, only one person might hear some that. Yeah. But three might hear it. You just don't know. Yeah. At, at that time. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to touch on the fact that we do it sceptically yeah. is because we, we, the, what's the opposite? Everything we look at is a ghost. Everything we hear, everything that happens, bre- every breeze is a ghost. Well, you know, you can't be like that, can you? No. no. You, you have to be rational first, and then you say, oh, no, though, that's getting cold in here, and someone says, yeah, but a window's got to be open. A window's not open. Mm-hmm. There wasn't a window open on that bus last night. Yeah. No. No, there was a door, though. There was, but the way that temperature just... Yeah. To say we were in a bus yeah. in a building... Yes. It literally were like that. Yeah. 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 And then for some it, of you to be really cold, and I'm yeah. sat there next to you, and yeah. I'm like, I'm roasting. You think we were in we were in a building, yeah, a drafty building, but we were in a container within that building. Mm. We yeah. all had jumpers on, yeah, and we weren't just cold; we were freezing. Yeah, that's what I would say as well about experience. Yeah, the the experience and, and the shortcuts you gain from learning. I've had this before. Yeah, and this was when, and I suppose there's a little that relationship of. I know when I'm getting cold. Yeah. yeah. And I know when it suddenly plummets. Yeah. And you get that feeling. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. And and so when we look at photos, you got to you got to remember that we're seeing patterns and we've boxed a hundred photos into that and a hundred photos and and instantly you can sort of say, Well that's probably not probably yeah. nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. oh, actually yeah. not what I've just filtered through my head. Yeah. So yeah. So that's why I do. Judgments are yeah. Not bad. Yeah, and that's why I do like them being sent in as well because I think the benefit of people watching a live stream when we're doing these things is that they do start to get an idea of what's normal in those surrounding and surroundings mm. and what's not. So they sometimes catch stuff that I didn't notice. Yeah. Again, sometimes I might yeah. look at it and think it's probably dust or you know, but to me. It's worth us having all those photos sent in because one day, yeah. you never yeah. know. Just to yeah. get that one that's yeah. got... Think it's sounds of anything, isn't it? You know, you, you'll be doing something, won't you? And you'll hear a... You just go... Carry on doing it. Yeah. But then there'll be the something that you'll hear a sound and you'll feel totally different. Mm. And that one thing that will make you think, what was that? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, well, why did you miss that? Dismiss that sound five minutes ago, but this one's got you thinking. Mm. Yeah. That kind of thing. I noticed last night, you know, you said you heard a cat at one point. Yes. I didn't hear it when you said, but when I was doing my lone vigil, I did hear a cat. It wasn't picked up. There may have been a cat. On the, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't picked up on my audio, but I, I then stood there and I thought, I think I've been hearing that throughout the night, but because mm. I've got cats at home... That's just totally normal to me. Yeah. And, I, and I think your brain does dismiss things that are normal to you. Yeah. But then I then I thought, well, it probably is just actually an actual cat. Yeah. Because so, I don't have yeah. any weird other feelings around no. me at the same mm. time. That was the one thing about last night. There was never any point to say you were almost like in a container within, within a building as well. There was never any point that I felt suppressed. Or anything, and we've had that feeling, mm-hmm. even when we've been outdoors. Yeah. yeah. Th- there was nothing last night that was... Like that claustrophobic, that yeah. dread feeling. Yeah, there was nothing like that. Mm-hmm. But we got evidence why we did. Yeah. It just goes to show... You know, nobody had that heightenedness about no. them to think Some, something's going to happen today. There, there was none of that with no. any of us. No. And, and we got what we did. Yeah. And it's weird how at the end it turned out to be an area what we'd all kind of emerged upon. Yeah. Oh, this is where we got that. What did you say? The Ke- Keelan had got pendulum towards yeah, it. Yeah, Keelan had done pendulum and he'd been drawn towards that yeah. for, for bears. Yeah. Um, we'd had the like a degree change in the temperature within that area um, early in the evening. So. Mm. Well, there's still nothing that had be kind of like, come on, guys, we have to go to this area. Yeah. It was just by chance that Even we decided, I was... let's just collect that. Yeah, because I walked talk you, didn't I? Mm. And then I realised, oh, 
they were, were walking towards the same spot. Yeah. So yeah. I kept walking, and then we were at, we were at that yeah. bus. So, yeah. Um, so if we go again, we'll start in that bus. Yeah. Yeah. And just see what happens. Yeah. Because every night is different, isn't it? Yeah, because it is. Ne next time we go there might be flat or it might be kicking off straight away. Mm. No, we didn't get that feeling like, like a nausea, horrible feeling, yeah. no. No, and we have had that in places, haven't we? Like, yeah. there's been, like Sam's house, for example, that that was like full on fear where the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Um, when I go to Stonyhurst, which we need to go to all together, that... I get a horrible feeling from there. Um, but yeah, no, last night it was... I almost felt quite optimistic yeah. and just mm. it was happy. Just it, was, it was Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 But after the feed, um, Keenan actually looked down where none of us were and saw a figure and said, um, that's actually shaken me. Now, everyone sees their figures and stuff, yeah. but it's when they said... That's actually shaking me. Yeah. I thought, oh, okay, yeah. it's more than yeah. just a, but yeah. it could have been nothing. Well, yeah. I was walking towards them, so there was, I was the only one who wasn't stood with everybody else, and I, because I think I'd been to get the laptop. Yes. So I was walking towards them, and they said, I've just seen somebody walk around there. So I did a quick head count, mm. and I was like, is it my reflection? Mm. So we kind of tried yeah. to figure yeah. out whose reflection would be where, and no, no, there was no chance. So that's interesting. Can you guys do a Sam invest? Yes, definitely, but it's quite a pricey one to do. Um, so we'll, it'll be next year. Basically. That's why we're putting on an event to raise funds for that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. And the White House hoodies as well. Um, yeah. The profits from those, hi Natalie, the profits from those are going to um, towards going to Sam's place again because we really want to go. We didn't, we paid for two nights last time and um, we left, didn't we? <laughs> which is the only place we've run away yeah. from. Yeah. Which is, it must be bad if it's, you know, and Jill hasn't been, so I cannot wait for Jill to You see, when I was there and it got to a crescendo of Sue even was like, Chris, yeah, are you going to stay? Are you are you going to yeah. stay here tonight? And I'm looking at this beaten down, not even the bed, and I'm thinking, well, one that doesn't look comfortable, but in my head I'm sort of thinking, I don't feel comfortable either. I'm thinking, how am I going to lay there, and thinking, is sweet. this person stood over it's me? You know, the event is being discussed in the background, but it will be. Yeah, yeah, let's say April. I want to get the book done. Then it's, yeah, then it's the event. And then we hope, well, I, me and the filmy crew part of us, is wanting to make some sort of feature length of the two the two nights we spend there. Who knows? We'll see. Big, big plans, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's I, incredible. I think that really will be uh, worth capturing because we're all going to be very anxious, which is going to be yeah. new for us. yeah. Yeah. And like we were saying last night, if if the whole team can go, yeah, it'd be really nice for um, cause Ben obviously doing the <clears throat> audio for Ben, Beckett, and I to just have ten minutes in there while you lot yes. sit in the pub, do whatever yeah, plenty of hours. kind of thing to just oh yeah because we've not experienced that. Mm. Yeah, I think you do need time to absorb the yeah. atmosphere on yeah. probably on your own for the yeah. first time. Yeah, it's it's mad. People always say like. Do you have any footage from there? We've got bits, haven't we? And yes. the audio's uploaded, but mm. like, oh, I just can't. Well, wait. we weren't really into videoing it because I used to do the eight, like four camera CCTV on most locations, and then I had to watch the two hours we investigated four times, or to you know try <coughs> and concentrate on four screens for those hours again and then I'm listening to the audio to dictate the write-up so every investigation I'm doing it four times or something. Well, you try to well at one point doing that somebody sat and watched them on the yeah. evening but you still yeah. can't watch four. No. No. Oh, no. And uh, up until that point we'd never caught anything on the CCTV of no. note so I mean I started to think do they even show themselves you know what mm. I mean it just but then I don't know just I decided we decided to step things up and and I'm glad we did. I'm enjoying yeah. the, the recordings. Definitely. 
I think it's um, it's interesting. When I first started, I thought evidence was only something that you could hold in your hand and show to somebody. But I think experiences that we've had and that we've seen with our own eyes, we know we've seen them, yeah. where mm. maybe only you saw it at the time. You know, like at um, Bingley Cemetery, yeah. we both had quite big experiences there. Yeah. I think that, to me, is good evidence as well, isn't it? So cameras are all well and good. Don't you? Through fear? Yeah. yeah. Really? It's, yeah. it's weird, isn't it, that place? Yes. Very I weird. can't wait to get away from that place. I'm totally like... transparent, right? When I the night that I saw that thing and then re re reviewed the footage, you had been talking to Fran. You turned around and described like a veil chiffon thing, mm -hmm. and Fran had <coughs> said, "Oh, I also saw that." Now, right at the beginning, that's in my bra bracket of great for you, but it had yeah. no effect on me whatsoever yeah. mm -hmm. until when I listened back. You were describing what I was to see. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was, I ignored, sort of ignored it, like, yeah. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, wait, wait a minute, that she's describing what I couldn't put in the words that well. Uh -huh. A thin chiffon veil or whatever yeah. you said. And when I saw it, it was above you. Right. When you saw it, it was over, drifting towards the the tree and going behind the tree. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just think all evidence is. Good evidence, isn't it? And it's, yeah. yeah, there's not much you can do with it other than well, recount. Well, you try and like record it and, and keep it and things like that, everybody has the real evidence, don't they? Yes, yes. everyone has their own journey. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I wish we yeah. could document a feeling, and I think that's why mm. I enjoy people being able to watch the live streams because I do ask a lot. I'm like, does the vibe of this place come across on the live stream? And I do believe that it does for quite a lot of people. And that's as close as we can get to bottling that feeling of yeah. mm. the fear that we might experience again at Sam's house or yeah. the really, like people who watch when I go to Stonyhurst, they're like, this place is just wrong. There's something, and that is how it feels. Yeah. And I don't last more than an hour in that place. Yeah. Um, and I think Bingley Cemetery is the same. It certainly has a vibe for me now. That's what I mean about a claustrophobic feel. Even though you're outside, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, then I felt... Yeah, suffocated. Yes. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people sort of say how brave you are, and I wouldn't dare. I always find it interesting that a lot of people literally think I could never do what you do, and we are not on your own. That yours is different. Your private mm. ones because you're on your own, and that is scary. But uh, I kind of miss that fear. Do you know what I mean? Walking around in the dark, I, I, I don't think really I still mind. have that fear because I still think, what would I do if I saw something? Yeah. And I genuinely think I would pull my pants. Becky mm -hmm. says that. She always says, yeah. what would I do? And I'm like, but how long have yeah, you done it? Yeah, look She was last night. As soon as she said, I've never seen <clears> anything, <throat> she saw something at that cemetery. She saw something last yeah. night. <clears throat> you yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know whether she's in a way asked out for it, but but I went like blindfolded at the farm, trying to get that fear. Yeah. And even then, I was a bit like, no, it's yeah. not. And I was trying to get possessed by Sam because he said he was <laughs> gonna possess right. me, and yeah. I was sat there, and I'm like, yeah, you know. And so it does come to that point where you're not scared anymore. No. But I suppose then, you know, the difference between true fear. Oh no, I, I and think I still got that. Do you? Yeah, I still got that. Mm. Like I said, being the cemetery, yeah. I want it down. Or maybe we are down. still scared, but we see it as like Love excitement and scared. Yeah. yeah, like a just an excitement to investigate. Would you ever go to Chillingham Castle? Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, love to, but anywhere. Yeah, but we struggle with getting places. You, you know? watch that celebrity ghost. So they went there, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. I would love to. Like I think I enjoy places that are. I think you have to make, be able to make yourself comfortable as much as you can. But I do I do like indoor locations. Mm. Uh, but that's why I've got cushions in my boot. Just You never know. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to go to like a castle or something and mm. have the whole place. Just for 12 be hours. Great. Be great. To be fair, we, we normally have our investigations be two, three hours at yeah. times. 
it, we don't really do overnighters, do we? Um, it was particularly. Yeah. It's not our. Some people are out till four in the morning and stuff, and uh, I don't know. It's because. It's how long do you give it? Man? Yeah. Really, it's yeah. To keep your enthusiasm yourself. Yeah. You know, if there's not a lot happening, and you're there for six hours doing that, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like you said, like last night, we were there three and a half hours for what? Five minutes? Yeah, not a lot. Yeah. Evidence, you know, so to think if you're doing it over it? six to eight hours, mm. So, you know, I and think then you've got to, I'm the kind of person who <coughs> I would probably spend 12, well, probably up to about eight hours, mm-hmm. I think, but it does depend, because if you're getting a lot of activity on the board, I'm always knackered the day after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So. That's something that we've both said today, we haven't slept well. No. We both said it. Neither was slept well last night. I mean, I was cold I anyway, but then yeah. I was just thinking about what we'd caught. Yeah. In and out. So it was walk, well, as soon as I woke up and yeah. realised what I was thinking, I was thinking about it. Mm, I just mm. couldn't sleep until seven. Right. Mm. And then I woke up at about three and I was like, oh. But yeah, I couldn't sleep. I was just watch, I was re-watching it all. Mm. Just because I, I felt like it was, oh, Becky says, in a, oh, I missed it. Um, so I've got a question. Do you have any pre or post investigation rituals that you do? You go first. No, I don't think I do. Not even a protection of any sort. Not even a like Sue Sue and me, I think we might both sort of go, Come on tonight, give us some uh, do you know? I, I do yeah. that. I do tend to talk to them no. and I kind of in a way, I'm preparing myself. I think, I think when I was in the team before, yes, I probably did. I mm. think I would do from like a talk in the car. Yeah. You know, as I was heading there, but since I've come back, I can't say I do now. I just maybe it's that's still getting. Maybe, maybe back in. Back in the yeah. I, I yeah. don't yeah. know, but yeah, but no, I'll leave that to you. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> I think my, I think I just think about all the possibilities. Yeah. And my adrenaline starts going. Because a lot of people fear the unknown. I think we chase it and play with it a little bit, don't we? Mm. So I think my adrenaline gets going. Yeah, I think that's where the difference is. Mm. I've still got that. Yeah. So what? yours is fear of the unknown. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, Whereas I think, I think, I've still got that. I yeah. think it converts. And for me, it's like excitement yeah good or bad mm. whatever happens i just like if, if my hair gets ripped out cool it's evidence like yeah. that kind of thing but yeah i do i i i ask them in my head or sometimes out loud and i'll be like come on give us some really good evidence or i talk to janet sometimes and i'm like mm. have words with whoever we come across and tell them to give us some good evidence yeah. or you give us some good evidence or yeah but then i must admit i say don't come through on the board to janet mm. Because I don't want to interrupt mm. our investigation when when I'm with White House because she can get a little bit annoying. So yeah. see, I I've got that little bit about Sam at the moment. Yeah. Because mm. I like to go to places for them What's to be there? and what they are. Mm-hmm. Um. So you. <clears throat> Been to a regular place where we used to go quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and we there, excuse me, <coughs> have spoke to people that have potentially gone back to the 17th century. That is what I love. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that part of, and that's why I think my fav- one of my favourite parts is the Ouija board. Because you never know who you're going to get. Yeah. Mm. So I think at the minute for me, a little bit, I'm kind of like, some nights like, Sam, bugger off. Oh yeah, I, I roll my eyes when I mean. now. Yeah, mm. it's like I want it to be about where I am, not about you again. Yeah. Because I'm like, what are we gonna get? Are we getting it off you? Are you just trying to block? Yeah. I'm like, I feel like I'm at a little bit almost like a stalemate with him. Mm. At the, at the minute, it's like, I don't mind you coming through, but what are you gonna give us? He's a hindrance if he's yeah. not doing anything. Yes, exactly. If he's gonna give us something decent. Yeah, I think he said the Sam Shaw. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. It does feel like it sometimes, yeah. It's a bit of an attention seeker, isn't it? Yeah. 
but, but he doesn't yeah. pay us for it. I don't know whether it's delicious. Yeah. I don't know whether that's his getting back at us. Yeah. I it's almost feel be. like if, if he wants it to be, if he wants it to be like that, then let's just go one place. And okay, we'll talk to you. But if you want us to go to that one place ten times to do that, then fine. Mm. But it's like if I'm going somewhere else, I want it to be about that place. Yeah, a little, a little bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked, can anyone use Ghost Tube? I mean... Yeah, they can. Um, again, I think it's just about how scared you'll get because it, you don't know what it's going to say. And I do think a lot of the times when when perhaps there isn't anything there, it just spits out spooky words. Yeah, but no, anyone can download it and use it. But, yeah. you know, you've got to be, to be like we were saying earlier. You've got to start sceptically and not scare yourself to death. Mm. You know, just because it says demon doesn't mean there's a demon. It means that in that app, the word has said demon. Yeah. And then you've got to process it, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we had one night, didn't we, where we used it. And thinking back, nearly all the words on it were quite negative. Yeah. Yeah. But had we thought about that at the time? No. Mm. They were just words. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, question to you both. Do Ouija boards open portals? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if I'd call it a portal. I think it's an invitation, isn't it? Yeah. So is it through a doorway of some of some kind? Is is. You mean like that revolving door of, yeah, you can come in and say what you mm. want to say. When you open a Ouija board, yeah. are you basically going, come on in, and then goodbye? I'd say yes, because going like that, come on in, mm. is sending out a message, isn't it? And it's allowing spirits to come through. And if you compare that scenario to you laying in bed... I mean, yeah. it's very different, isn't it? You're not going to expect any spirits to come and talk to you when you're in bed, even though they sometimes might. Yeah. I see it as, say you're walking through a town and it's not very busy and it's night time, but then you see this big tall building with loads of disco lights in it and you can hear the music and you can hear that there's a lot of people there and you're drawn to it. I think it's that kind of a thing. I think it's like a beacon. Yes. More than a portal. Yeah. And it attracts spirits who want to talk. Which is what we've been told about the light, isn't it? Yes. That's how I feel about the light, actually. Yeah. Like a yeah. big... Yeah. Yeah. So why would you say no? What's your view? Because... Yes, we open it up. But it's almost like they shut it down. We open it up, I get, I get that bit. Yeah, well, at the end of the night, you've got to think that we turn around and say, we need to go now, um, please take this to, to goodbye. Mm. We ask them to shut it down. So if it was a portal to allow, almost like, them to come through, if <clears throat> potentially they won't have to do that, they won't have to shut it down. It, it's almost like, you know, you've got, is it? I, I see it's like this side and that side. Yeah. So you've got you've got all of us over here. Well, not all of us, but you know, you've got people over here who all they want to do is talk to the mum, talk to dad, talk yeah. to whoever. I see it as the same on that side as well. All right, yeah. Yeah. Want to talk to the living. Yeah, yeah. So if it's a part portal, so it's not in in a bad sense of the word. Yeah. There's still that respect there for both sides. Yeah. And both sides appreciate the opening up and shutting down a bit. In a, in a way. Mm. So, yeah, see, it's, I understand what you mean by part. A communication portal. It's almost like a telephone line. That you can hang that up. That you can just hang up on. Most of the time. Yeah, it's not an open-ended mm. kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. See, my view about the Ouija board itself... You could do away with a Ouija board altogether. We could all hold hands and put our minds towards now spirits come on through 
I think that's equally, I think that's the doorway. It's the, yes. the humans that make the doorway. Yes. It's the humans that are saying, I am going to put all my focus onto listening for ghostly activity now. Yes, it's a, it spells it out on the board, and that's how we get information. But I don't think my IKEA board, the table table yeah. that I've wrote on, has now the ability to open a portal to the side. So I, I think you could discard that and say, right, when we hold hands, when we focus, like on the asking out, give us some comfort. So like an open circle, might I mean. Yeah. So why do we do it? Because it's a lot of time, generally speaking, and because it's like. We will do that and not get anything. Do you know what I mean? We are trying yeah, to get we don't into... Give, we don't, at the moment, give time to it to even see it yet. No, well, we have been. We have been. Oh, I've okay. been delaying the Ouija board <coughs> here and there, mm. saying, let's start so At the theatre, we yeah. wandered around. We didn't You touch the board. It was like, give sat, us something yeah. now. We sat around, didn't we, and asked yeah. for noises. Have you ever thought about trying the old Victorian... That's where I was thinking seance. of going, yeah. Methods. Yeah, yeah. I can just yeah. imagine us all. A, a ball, a horn. And sitting around and the like a big... Ball, no, no, no. Yeah, but it's like spiritual churches who do an open circle night, Dollar, where basically you all go in, anybody can go, oh. and you just sit around, you all sit in a circle, and it mean be years, so things might change, don't know. But you can be sat there, just quietly, and... You basically just say what comes into your head. Mm. And if somebody can take it, then they might take it. If nobody can take it, then... It... We're talking mediumship now. Yeah, kind of thing. Mm. But almost, that's what you're saying. If we're not using the board, so then no. we can do it. So, mm. so I'd love to try that. I must admit, I'd go into it feeling like, okay... What we're doing is we're going into a room and we're throwing stuff at a wall and seeing what sticks. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're just saying stuff and then if I say, I don't know, purple wallpaper, there's going to be someone who goes, oh, my nan had purple wallpaper and mm. she, do you know what I mean? But I would try it and I wouldn't be yeah, just, but, I'd be open-minded. Well, don't just, it wouldn't be the thing of like, right, give me purple wallpaper after I'll see you later. It'd be then to see what else you could oh, and see if it feed all, into it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd try that, definitely. Someone asked if um, spirits can attach to you through the Ouija board. Um, I think my answer to that would be rarely. I think if you do protection and shutting down, that protects you quite a lot. Um, but I think it's only very negative spirits that would do that. I don't know. I think it, as well, it does. it is a mutual respect thing sometimes as well. And I think if you say, do not follow me home, we've, we've been pretty yeah. much okay, haven't yeah. we? I mean, Sam's followed us, but at least he's shared it out amongst us, and he, he mm -hmm. takes it in terms on who he, who he does stuff to. Well, I think the opening up and closing down is part of the process, I mean, without a Ouija board. It's like, we are now focusing on ghosts. Come through now. So then when we're closing down, what we're really saying is, Whatever you do from now on, I'm going to ignore. If, if I hear something yeah. go bang behind me, I'm going to think it's just normal. Mm. It's almost like you open yourself up and you say, talk to me, be in this bracket now, and I'll listen for you. But after that, you go when, you, when you're not wanting to go yeah. to be at home, you're thinking, the last thing I'm going to think about now is that I've got a ghost with me. Yeah. You, you turn it down, don't you? Yeah. You turn it off yeah. almost, yeah. unless it's in your face. Yeah. But, like I said, I don't know if protection works unless you believe in it yourself. It's not just... Now that you've gone through the motions, it works. I don't think it's like that. No. So Please. just because we're talking about protection, Alice said, have you ever done a Ouija board without protection first and did you notice any difference? Well, I have. You have, mm -hmm. right? And what was yours? Mine personally was that less stuff happened. I agree with that. Yeah. With me and Sue and maybe Sai, we spent all night in a place mm -hmm. with no protection. We, we said, tonight we're going to do nothing. And nothing came through, and so when it was quarter of an hour to close in, we I had to say, well, let's just do protection and see what happens now. And immediately, the board, hadn't worked for two hours, started to work, saying, go home, go home. And we worked out, it was um, the woman, of who a regular, who was protecting us from all the mess we'd made, and was, was actually keeping bad things from coming at us, and said, I'll clean up your mess, you sod off home. Do you not think, though, that we've gone away, we're starting to get away from the fact of it being protection 
to it being a respectful invitation. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nail on the head there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're firing that line Which is why, out. like I said, I think when it's, you're in about the portal, when we ask them to shut it down, it's a respect from that side as well. Mm. You know, yeah. we're not there whether we've done it, you know, protection or not, we're going, come on! We're not there like that. You know, so I think you can see it as what you want, I think, and that's the way we've kind of gone, I suppose, in the last mm. 12 months or so, it? That is it protection or is it just a respectful invitation? Yeah, like, a, like meet me in the middle of this football yeah. field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and then back because, into your yeah. hands. Yeah, I think we all seem to well, do like our, our, own, the mm. our own version of protection or invitation before we go. Yeah. I know I certainly do, and I always ask for the biggest amount of energy and all that stuff. So I do think it's more... And it's good that we've got to that place because I think yeah. when you first start doing it, you cling on to protection, don't you? Because yes. you think, I don't want to follow me on. Yeah. That's the main thing yeah. I think that you're yeah. scared of as a paranormal investigator when you first start. But I think we've all yeah, grown in we've confidence. we've investigated it rationally. Yeah. yeah. You know, we've investigated protection as well as investigating a building almost kind of yeah. thing. Mm. And it's a conclusion we've come to. Yeah. It's changed from a crutch to a tool. Yeah. That yeah. actually yeah. has really benefited us. Yeah. And I think the way that you do protection is absolutely spot on. And I've not seen any other team do no. protection the way that you do it. And I think the results we get, I think that's why we get a lot of evidence because mm. of your protection. And I, I use your protection all the time. Yeah, uh, who's to say whether it yeah. works at all? Yeah. But I think it's good to stick to one way of doing things, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like, you know, when we all we all probably have our own way of doing it, but I think it helps us all know the routine, know how we... Well, we're all a similar way, but that way. There yeah. are differences yeah. in our opinions. Well, I, uh, but, on some of the overnights that we've been to, it's done a very similar way yeah. with, with the light, but it's done individually. Mm. So you're not stood there as collective holding hands, All right. you know. So, and quite a lot of these investigations have gone, you don't get a lot. And, you, and I think, is it because the individual protections aren't given that? I think in my head when I envision that, on a, on a public event and there's various people doing it individually, I would see that as almost like there might be too many spirits in that room and not one really wants to step forward. It just seems like it might get too yeah. busy, and mm. that could hinder your evidence, whereas I think when we do it all together, we become just this big one yeah. team yeah. of energy. Yes, yeah, so it has and to be one out almost. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the spirits come to talk to us as a team. Yeah. 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 Not like individual. Yeah. I think that's when you start getting the zigzagging on the board. Yeah. When there's... Too much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we don't get as much of that anymore. No, we don't. We've had some fantastic, yeah. clear yeah. words and sent it all night yeah. for a lot of yeah. time. It never used yeah. to be like that. We'd yeah. have gobbledygook for ages. Mm. Someone's asking, has possession ever happened? Not possession, but attachments supposedly have. And I say supposedly because I haven't witnessed it, but I'm not saying nobody else has. I'm just saying I have no stories on that myself. I can't really discuss the ones that are going on because it's not my place to say it. But um, yes... Potentially. But can a spirit take over you? And like I said to Becky, we have a spirit in us controlling us. Yeah. Yeah. So evidently, I guess you kind of have to go, if you, I, if you believe you have a spirit, then yes, mm, it can happen, because it is happening. I think, I think demons can possess you, but I think that it happens over a long period. I think they have to get the claws in over the course of time. But... I also and I do think that possessions are so rare yeah. that any that you see on YouTube, TikTok probably aren't real. Mm. That's my opinion. Yeah. I can't prove that, but I just think that it's probably very rare, and I think it affects your life very terribly leading up to it happening. It's not just something you'll go on an investigation, come across a spooky demon, and start shaking <laughs> yeah, your eyes all yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's like that at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, what things stand out to you still after all this time? What, when you think of us all doing what we've been doing, Sorry. what are the things that come to mind that never really left? 
I'm sorry I got that on you. Make you think about all the years. I think for me, recently, it's got to be being the cemetery when I got with the personal message that came through. Yes. Because I categorically knew, not on that, I wasn't on that board, and I categorically knew nobody knew anything about that. And yeah. they're the ones that all the time you stick, they're the ones you take over you and probably have the opportunity of making them think, oh, maybe there is, mate. you know, that's the, yeah. the believer side of me. Well, that's because how, just how, how on earth? Do you know? That's the envelope we used to get. Like, Paul's yeah. here. He's from Sheffield. Yeah. What? Yeah, great. Yeah. But what does that mean to any of us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. when you say, ah, right, I actually know what you're talking about. Yeah. And these don't. Yeah. We've had a lot of that, though, recently. Yeah. yeah. We've had a yeah. lot of information. Yeah. Is that actually is something we know about. Yeah. Not just yeah. random words. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. So, so, yeah, for me, that, I think, yeah. So Ouija board evidence is something that yeah. has swayed you. Nothing you've seen. You've got any sightings. No. Obviously you had that word last night, that's got to mean something. Yeah, yeah, and that, that I, I ponder and that will stay. Yeah, that's fresh. Unlike Vic Hall. Because, yeah. because Vic Hall won't stick with me because I didn't believe it. Yeah. You know, that wasn't evidence to me. Mm. You know, that was genuinely something natural. Yeah. You know, in my thoughts, but you know, for you, that was a no. I, I, you know, and that's where we all differ, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Kind mm. of thing, and I, I think it is. You know, the little thing it is potentially the ones you probably hang on to more is when it's somewhat personal. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Do, do you know what I mean? Mm. Whether it's for for me, me or for any of the team. I remember the first time you thought maybe your dad had come through. Yeah. You know, because it, it's got that personal thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, for you guys, you've got a lot that centres around Sam mm. recently. I haven't got that. Um, one for me would be the time in the kids' cinema. Right. When the lights went out at the back. Yes. And I absolutely freaked. I had to be freak. I had yeah. to be taken out of the place. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I absolutely freaked out. So that sticks with me mm. as well. Um, so, yeah. And, and Sue once going, I th oh, probably as well, your work's the first time that I came through. Right. Again, because it's somewhat personal. Big thing, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But you always say? I think the first thing I'll say is Ouija board evidence. And mm. the ones that stick out for me are. I can't go into too much detail because we're on here, but Jane had a person that she was looking after who was in between passing over. And we got the name, the age, everything. And, and he was talking to us when he was, I think he was in a coma. And he was he? describing the bed sheets and yeah. what the nurses, and what nurses yeah. were working. Yeah. And then he told us when he was going to pass away and then he did mm. pass away on that day. So that, that one was interesting. Um, the London terror attack, before yes. before any information had been released, I think it was, we got somebody through, because we were investigating... Xavier at Black Dyke Mills. Xavier. Yes. Yep. We were investigating at, at Black Dyke Mills, and we knew the terrorist attack had happened, but they hadn't released any... We didn't know how many people had died or no. any of that, did we? He was the guy that ended up in the river. Yes, and he was part of French, wasn't he? Yeah. He came through, yeah. he'd literally only just passed yeah, away. Long past, was it? No. And then there was... Um, a young man who, who very recently died, who, again, I won't say names and all that stuff because we had to cut that out, didn't we? Because it was so Oh, yes, spot on. recently, yeah. Um, and That's he told so us... Kind. Yeah, it is. It's frustrating because we want to share that with people. Yeah. Because it's like, look what we got. Yeah. None of mm. us would have known that. And no. I mean, I don't think any of us would have been able to retain the information anyway. You know what I mean? Well, you like, don't remember what street they were on. Mm. No, and he gave us the street, yeah. didn't yeah. he? Um, so that, but then I think the other side of it is, I do feel like every time we investigate, I think we all feel comfortable with each other. Yeah. And that's important. So I think the thing about the team that stands out to me the most is that we all feel comfortable in sharing when we do see something. We know that 
we're not going to be mocked or mm. any of that. And um, yeah, and then seeing those things at Bingley Cemetery. And also when we talked to somebody who, when Peter Sutcliffe was still alive, somebody, I don't know if it was, he was saying it was him on the board mm. and he said he was going to die within the next year or two and he did. Yes. Weird. Weird. It is weird. <laughs> that was the first time we did Bingley Cemetery and we were in them bushes. Yeah. And that dog came over because they were a dog walker. And yes. we were like, oh, just doing a Ouija board in the bushes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and it was something to do with the with Peter Sutcliffe. I don't know who... was. It? I think it was Sam who was telling us. I think it was. Yeah. He was telling us the Yorkshire Ripper was going to die. Yeah. Um, and, and I mean, he... He did, yeah. He did die. So... It's things like that, I think, that are more... Yeah, and then the other ones I can't describe, but they're those just feelings of being in an energetic place. Mm. That, yeah, those kinds of moments, I just love them. It's yeah. probably more than what you think that do affect you. Yeah. But it's just how much do they affect you? You get great information, yeah. and when you read the write ups, it's like when the gouts or the yeah. K2s flashing away, but you don't remember them no. specifically. Although York, I would say, that when I started set foot in York and then put my hand out to shake hands with Ursula on the stairs, yeah. just thinking, you know, Nothing's I'll just happen. offer, just, yeah. and my hand went literally freezing, but all in my hand. Wow. And that's like, my, and, the, and the, the gouse was shrieking away on, yeah. the step, on that step. I think, as well, I think the reason we've got so much evidence there is because that's the first time that I feel like we allowed ourselves to be vulnerable mm. because we were sleeping over, and because we'd spoken to Ursula the, that first night, we went and bought a teddy bear. That's we asked right. her what she wanted. Yeah. So we bought a teddy bear for a, a baby that had died and it got very personal and we got quite attached to the story yeah. that she was telling us. Do you think if you hadn't been as vulnerable, we would be having the conversations we have now with Sam? Do you think it's tied to Ursula or to the vulnerability of the team that night? I, I think it's both. I think Sam was extremely annoyed that we passed Ursula over and Violet, mm. which was the baby, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I think we allowed ourselves to be vulnerable and then we pissed him off. Yeah, so I, mean, I, yeah. I, I literally had a, yeah. a little banishment poem what I'd cut out and thought, you never know. And it yeah. was the first time I was like, let's try it. And, it didn't... and do you think we'll ever get rid of him? I think he'll fizzle out because I, I honestly don't think... Well, actually, if we never go back, yeah, maybe. But we're going to keep going back. I think when we go back, so all right then. So Because she's been there. Do you want to get rid of him? Personally, no. Me neither. But why? Because what's he giving you? Oh, when when he comes properly, the temperature drops, it's, he can't... It's so why freezing. am I not getting that then? Well, doesn't do it always, does it? I wonder if it's because Jill's not physically being in his house. I know, Becky said again, the same. I don't think Becky feels... I don't know, we'll have to ask her. But does Becky feel the full effects of Sam? Because she hasn't been in... I'll tell you something, that house changes you. Yeah. When I, before I'd actually started investigating in there, yeah. right, I've got the texts off them. You're never yeah, going to believe this place. I've seen you yeah. from then. Now, I'm not talking about ghostly. Yeah. I'm talking about, I walk in the place, it's lopsided on all weird angles. You put something down, it rolls off. the whole of your case. It's like a yeah. ghost train. Yeah. And immediately I'm like, this place just messes with your head. And you'd spent all those hours before and you were scared in there. And then the activity was just like dialed up beyond what we're normally. It's like three investigations in one night. So do you think yeah. when you arrived that night, <coughs> because these three were a little bit, ah, do you think you went in with a rational head at that point? I felt like I was sober amongst drunk people. Yeah. Do yeah. You, yeah. Do you feel like you, know, you didn't initially? I was like, what you got was your experience. I thought they're on holiday. They're on holiday. They're all like giddy and excited. Yeah. They think they've heard this, they think they've heard that. And I'm, if it were other people not in my team, I'd think, you're just sort of making it up. But yeah. I knew they'd experienced it yeah. because yeah. I know them. Yeah. So I was like, hey, maybe I'm the one who's going to yeah. be in for a shock. Do you know what I mean? Was that yeah. back in my mind? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I've never seen you three like it 
And so I was on edge because I'm like, you can see the fear. Yeah. I mean, we. I asked, as I did my thing, I asked for a bang. So what you're saying window. is basically, well, they were sat inside waiting for you. If I'd been there, I'd have been sat outside. <laughs> yeah. The window banged. It did. Like somebody slapped it with a hand. I thought a bird had flown it with yeah. the window we was broken from that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We were like, you know, there was nobody yeah. outside. Yeah. But it started, I think, what, didn't it, by we, me, uh, Sue and Jane. I think I smoked at the time. So I'd gone out for a cigarette and Jane had come with me and Sue stayed in the living room. So the yeah. living room's upstairs yeah. so we had to go down. And we left the door ajar. I think we might have put something there. Because, you know, like the auto-locking doors, it was one of them, yeah. I think. Oh, no, it wasn't. The, the key was in the back of the door. I, I'd have to read back on the write-up. But there was... We got locked out. And we heard somebody come down the stairs and slam the door shut. So we were like, Sue? Why would Sue walk down the stairs and just lock us out? Yeah. She was like, no, I've been sat yeah. in, in the living room. So that's how it started, and then it just... Cranked up a bit and a bit and a bit and a bit. Well, it was interesting yeah. last night. It was like Becky and I have both been to York separately. Mm-hmm. Both done something within the vicinity. You knew what Becky done, but you don't know what I've done. No. Mm. No. But, yeah, I think when you go, it it's just a vibe. Yeah. Mm. Mine saves beyond an hour. Good. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm looking for. I made your mind and psychic. Yeah. Proof. Uh, so you don't think you're being followed home? No. And have you ever tried using equipment at home? Because I think it's pretty important no. to know. Like, if you remember, I saw. Oh, I use a pendulum at home. What I mean is, I always used to say it's really important to use your K2s and Gauss at home so you you know. How it works. When it's yeah. not... Yeah. If that thing's flashing all the time at home yeah. and you walk into a ghost environment and it's flashing spirits, away and you're yeah, saying, that's yeah. spirits. Yeah. It just flashes all yeah. the time. I think you need to... I used to... Remember torches used to go off all the time? Yes. I used to put those torches on the t- on the TV table and think, well, that's going to do the exact same thing. If I leave it there long enough, it'll turn on because some, some sort of heat yeah. makes a contact. Yeah. I could never get it to do it. Never. I use a pencil at home, not at home. I use the other sort of home. And, and about the torch, she said, mine drained last night, mine went off. Mm. Um, but when I went to charge it this, this morning, it's still two bars, isn't it? Yes. See, that's interesting, isn't it? Because when we were at um, Bingley Cemetery again, Ben has a torch that shows you, and it was lit up, and we yeah. said, drain the energy, and the, the glass went to the torch, yeah. and it drained the energy, and then it did something, I can't quite remember now. Um, yeah. So, it is interesting. It is interesting. We've had, we've had some good stuff, I think, as a team. I think just recently, yeah. since, since York. Yeah. Well, no, I feel like, since Ilkley, which was the, the week before York, which was Ruth. we met Ruth. And we'd mm. had personal information for every single one of us. Do you remember, and I keep, this keeps coming back to me and I don't know why, that night at, when we met Ruth, we heard growling or snorting Yes. to the point where we thought somebody was a, homeless or something was asleep up in, in the top the of the church. You know, like, yeah. what do they, is it the steeple? The... Yeah. yeah, yeah. we thought somebody was asleep up there. Now, I heard that very same noise at the, another, another cemetery. the other cemetery. I won't say which one, but the one that I took you to. Yeah. Same noise. So now I'm thinking, do all churches have some sort of snoring noise playing at night? Or is there some kind you, of... What, wait, wait, are you talking about... In, in like a not spirit not spiritual way. Are you talking about? No, are you I'm talking about spirits. I'm thinking spirit wise because we did get a lot of activity at Ilkley. Yeah. And we got that noise to the point where we thought it must be human. Yeah, we did. But we didn't really see a human. We just no. put it down to that. But then when I, when I did um, the one mm-hmm. over there, um, same noise. That's Only interesting. at night time. That is interesting. And I tried to figure out what it was and I don't know. So then it, it just it just gives me this angle of 
Does churches have spiritual protectors that snore? Mm. <laughs> Talk about that wasn't the Mel and Alfie one, was it, you're talking about? I don't know if they're talking about the same thing as what we're talking about, but... No. No, that wasn't that one. Uh, quite a lot of bits and bobs happened then, didn't they? That got very personal for... Yeah. Lawrence. We had to take it offline, it was getting that, that personal. Yeah. And that was meant to be a relative of somebody there who was looking out. Oh, it wasn't a relative, it was just... Just a guide think, or a yeah. protector or something. Uh, protector. Oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Yes. Um, and it, yeah, like you say, it's the personal stuff, obviously, that has much more weight. I mean, we're all just looking for evidence, aren't we? Yeah. And we have chunks of evidence, even as sceptical as we are. Yeah. We all have a zone, but that I think that was real, mm. don't we? I mean, we don't get anything like what a lot of other teams profess to have. But I pref- kind of prefer that. Yeah, I know? do. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think uh, playing it sceptical is good. True. What? It's about staying true. Yeah. yeah what I like is that I, when if we split up anywhere, I know that we're all investigating in the same way. Yes. It's not like one is re- accounting yeah. things in a really wacky, yeah. you know, it's like you, you are all extensions of how I want it done. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, not that my way is right, although it is, just that, um, <laughs> you know, if we're all extensions of one way of doing it, that's, we cover more ground yeah. and yeah. we can report back to each other, can't yeah. we? Yeah. Well, what you're potentially saying is that, as well, that what that person got there would have been found the same way as what person B would have got the yeah. same spot kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have one, one person reporting back to me and I'm thinking, well, you would say that because you're a bit yeah away with affairs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Someone, yeah. If someone says they've seen some, I'm like, okay. Mm. Yeah. You know? I think you'll know the day I see some. Yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, yeah Steph soon surprised me last night when we were on an upper deck of a bus. She was talking about lone vigils. She was saying it scares her and she wouldn't do it. And I'm like, really? Because I was saying to the spirits, are you not hitting us on the head because me and Sue are like the least scared? Mm. You know, I'm like, are we just stood in, the, in these scary yeah. places, not bothered? And is that why you've gone after the others, perhaps? So that's mm. what we were sort of. Well, that's why we thought that Becky mean? and I had been sent off together, didn't it, really? Because if anybody, yeah. you're going to call, send me and Becky, you're going to be the scared cats of the team. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I did try and uh, get Ben to, you know, capture any scaredy cat on, like, Becky's, Becky's <laughs> face for a start. Um, I ended up just... No, I was only getting this clink noise of a... It was either... If you imagine two tools hitting... Metallic yeah. tools hitting together... Yeah. And I was getting that, but I was asking, because obviously you said before you want two in a row. Yeah. So I was asking for two in a row, didn't get it. So then I just started pretending I was a bus driver on the bus <laughs> and trying to try and drum up any like residual energy even. Yeah. Like, you know, you're not getting out if you're trying to drum up residual energy, not intelligent energy. So I'm like, tickets, please. I believe someone hasn't paid. <laughs> and I thought maybe I'll just yeah. get some little yeah. footsteps running off the bus because they've not paid the fare. Yeah. But there were, it weren't yeah. much. But I did come up, you know, the Marlboros that were hung in the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got to that bit and it forgot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought I should try not to swear on these videos, but I can't mm. help it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So all the places you've been to, apart from Sam, which one would you like to go back to? Uh, so not York. Not York. Not, not York. Because um, that's, like, no, 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 that's tough because I don't think I have a personal reaction to any other. Yeah. What I want to do and what we don't do is like asylums. You know, mental yeah, asylums. Bigger, Huge bigger buildings. buildings where you yeah. can be on different floors because I want to push my fear up. Same. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I know that's not so ghostly, but it's also testing the theory that will my mind start to yeah. overreact? Yeah. And yeah, I think I want that. But if we're going to go like that, is it not worth us all looking at getting, you know, that we need to be filming it as our own selves? Yes, we all need to. Yeah. yeah. I think, right, that... 
I know you said it's too far, but the ancient ram in. I don't know if I even buy it, but yeah, it's a cool place. If it was nearer, I'd be all over it. So, but if so, I yeah. drove, you can just have a snooze in the back. Well, I will get, I'll get look, you the ancient rabbit one. Just day. like I'm the most sceptical, well, not, I'm not, not, I'm second most sceptical. <laughs> but, but it's a matter of I get made to do things. You know, you you had the rest of them drag me to the Druid Circle, which was really good. Yeah. But when it's a certain distance, I'm like, uh, I switch off. No. Hi, York yeah. Ghost Hunters. That's a little bit like me that I say, potentially I'm not bothered about travelling places because due to the distance or where it is, it doesn't interest me. It's like, yeah, I've got places to sue, mm. um, it, but it's almost like it's a girly weekend yeah, with a ghost hunt thrown in. Yes. Yeah, so um, I get that. I won't potentially want to travel the only place I would love to travel, I think, right now, to do an investigation is Ruth in jail. Okay, yeah. I've really, that. really fancy doing that. Is it Ireland? No, it's oh. um, it Wales? North Wales. It's other side of Chester. It's about, oh. two, about three hours from here. And I, and I would really like to do that. Yeah. So I, I, I think yeah. I'd travel anywhere within the UK. I think, like... Cornwall, like that really bottom of the country, I think would be a bit too far of a journey. But I think down to sort of Surrey and London. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah I'd be up for travelling, but I think it's got to be quite um, quite a renowned location, yeah. I yeah. think, to do it. Um, it has been everything. Oh, and it's near where Cara lives. Cara's yeah. brilliant. She watches all the time. It's amazing. So but yeah, we, we struggle with locations because yeah. we're not a money-making public event putting on... Yeah. 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 We're just yeah. And it is the fact that so many places have got into the fact that, um, oh, my building's haunted, yeah. I can charge this much. Yeah. And it's like, we just can't just find that, can we? Yeah, we, we've got a local place you can hire a barn of, and it's only a barn, but the cost costs like a grand, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, Even Edinburgh uh, revolts are only six hundred quid yeah. for the night, which is a lot. Yeah. Mm. But it you have to. Well, it's a risky thing for a business to go down the road of this place is haunted yeah. because you turn you get rid of so many people yeah. that just don't entertain that stuff and they're scared of it or whatever. Mm. So I can see why they charge so much because they probably need to to stay afloat because it's a, quite a niche thing, isn't mm. it? But. But because we're not in it for making money, and props mm. to the people who are, but yeah. for us, we're like a hobby team, yeah. aren't we? Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just not feasible for us to be going and hiring. And to do that, we'd have to be at the point of everybody has to go to every investigation. Yeah. Um, you've simply never pushed that, have you? No. You know, it's no. a, we're going on this date, if you can make it real, if you can't, you can't. Yeah. Kind of thing. And, and I think that's what makes it work as well. Because I up to this point I've had a little lad. It's it's I know it's hard for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, it, but it, because I'm I'm a team leader, so I can sort of say, well, in this day yeah. I'm alright. This day I'm alright. Yeah. And everyone else I'm saying no. I'm not yeah. generally generally I'm saying no. Yeah. But yeah. So it is tougher on you guys to rearrange your lives, but um. But it's nice because it's it's laid back in it, and then. My house is haunted, but I don't charge my partner to sit. <laughs> <laughs> Ever thought of setting up a page for locations people want to see? Um, I mean, people can always send just message us and yeah. suggest places because. Yeah, we need suggestions. Definitely, always welcome suggestions. It's. I mean, we don't mind paying for somewhere. If no, it's, if we club together. Uh, yeah. If we club together and we can split it between us and book it for a time where. It's like I was saying on the way here, this time of year is difficult because it is, the cold doesn't bother me, but it's it's the rain or snow that bothers me. And then obviously we're all paying for yeah. Christmas. Mm. It's it's hard, but yeah. I'm sure we'll try and squeeze maybe yeah. another one in, I don't know. Yeah. Anywhere that I can sneak and watch you all. <laughs> See, like I said, we used to, I used to put on um, free seances. I've done yeah. two, I think. And on the first one, I had nobody. And the second one, I had three. And I think that because there was no price attached, people thought, well, it must be crap then. Yeah. That it was, was my... Into a pyramid scheme. Yeah. That was my, yeah. count, that was yeah. my counter to 
me having to pay 50 quid to go with another team. I'm thinking, yeah. why should I? I'm going to charge. Yeah. yeah. Come and, and then nobody was interested. It's a weird double-edged sword. It's like they don't trust you. Yeah. 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 But, like I said, there will be an event. Um, Grey Friday, again, that's just too far. It's yeah. so far. And what? anyway, we'll get. Yeah. I'll get fined if I go about there, so no. <laughs> that was a whole different thing. Yeah. When you think of medium nights. I've, I've personally never been to one, but I would go to one. I've been. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, yeah. I've been to a few. I got to um, Lady uh, Claire. Claire Nichols, she's based in um, York, but she does. Um, she goes to the grouse. Her old friend. All right. All right. You, you get a meal. And and you um, go to it. It's about thirty quid night out. Sue so and I have been to Rufton and been with quite a few friends. Um, and she does like um, an hour you eat, and then she does another hour. And I really rate her. Every time I've been to see her, I've got something that I could, you know, it's how does she know that kind of moment, yeah. kind of thing. So yeah, I enjoy them. I mean, I used to go to spiritualist church as well, um, but for personal reasons, don't go anymore. But yeah, but again, it's what you want to take from it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you don't charge, people are not invested, so don't feel they have to turn up. Yeah, there is yeah, that. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So many places that that nobody goes because no one really knows of, like that farmhouse. Yeah, wow. It's brilliant because it's not pestered by people. Yeah, yeah. You know. That was the one, guys, you'll, you'll remember, where we were getting told where to find the diaries in the house. And it was all correct. Were you, you were there? No, Jill was not there. So that's what I mean. All the best ones she's yeah. missed. Oh. But. Not kidding these though. Yeah. I can't go, I can't go walking. That wasn't too bad though, were it? Yeah. No, that wasn't bad at all. If, if we do it again, I'll, I can pick you up. I'll, I'll drop you off at the entrance and then I'll go and park and then I'll come, yeah. come back. It's literally two minutes walk from the car park. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's just it's only secluded because of trees, not because yeah. of the situation, oh, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh yeah, I sort of thought it's gonna be in the back of beyond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're ready for it, like, oh god, is this gonna be a hike? Yeah. But it's not as it is, you no. can just trot across the road yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. snick it. St Mary's Church, Scarborough. That's, That's quite a trip. Is it? Yeah, St Mary's oh, is where one of the Brother Sisters is. Yeah, she uh, conducted us for seaside. I don't remember which one. I want to say I'm, yeah, but I may be wrong. I don't know either. That was a really good one. Sue likes yeah. the police in York, and I've never been... I've done police for Sue. I've walked in, but I haven't done yeah, it. Yeah, I've done it. Yes. I want to I book a room. There's also, hopefully we can arrange this. Rachel, who's in the comments, wants to come as well. There's a hotel in Bradford where um, a celebrity died there and... All the celebrities used to stay there when they'd come and do um, yeah, the Alhambra. Midland. 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 Yeah, yeah, Midland yeah. Hotel. So I'm going to look at, hopefully we can do yeah, that. that. That's not too bad, it's Bradford. No, that's not. No, no, it's just up skipping a fight. Yeah. yeah. So that that's that could be a good one coming up. But I, I do think that, like, I do like it when you, you speak to a location and they go, oh, yeah. We've had this happen. Come and yeah. investigate, yeah. and they don't look at the money side of it. Yeah, they just look they at you there. Yeah, um, because I think I re remember you might not want to talk about it, but there was a a scenario where a newspaper streamed one of the investigations, oh, yeah. wasn't there? Yeah, it's a terrible idea. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like the the um, interest. No, the um, motive I think that they had behind it wasn't very. They, they just didn't care how anyone yeah. came across as long as they got the yeah. views, you know what I mean? It was like area to TikTok where nobody who was interested was watching, but mm -hmm. only haters. Yeah, <laughs> trolls only yeah. in the audience. Yeah, yeah that it was... Um, so that that takes away from locations, doesn't it? I think when money or publicity is the yeah. goal. Guiding. Yeah. yeah, whereas we just try and talk to people on a level, don't we? And that's a lot yeah. of the locations we do get. Mm. Are through people that are happy to let us explore and they're interested in it as well. When someone comes to you on the board and you know who they are by how they move in the board, mm -hmm. have you got many that you would know straight away who it is? Well, yeah, yeah. Ruth, Sam, for one. Yeah. And Two. I can't think of <coughs> another one. 
It's more. Well, it's more... Really it, no, it? that would be that. But on the night. Somebody coming back on, on the, the night. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You feel the energy change. Yeah. Things move at different speeds, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things do a certain pattern. Yeah. Yeah. And people, some people had a twist. Yeah. It's weird, like last night when it was like doing the S thing. Yeah. And you sort of think, I think I've seen every board move impossible because you can only really do that. Mm. But then they'll do a little move and like, you're like, what is yeah. that? And then we will, someone said, is that how you used to clean the buses? Oh, yeah. 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 I think Ben said it. Yeah. But we still never got to the bottom of that. You don't no. always get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I can always tell when it's Jenna. Yeah. But. I don't like to invite Jenna no. when we're doing a thing because I feel like, it's like you were saying before, it's nice to go to a location and connect with the spirits at that location. Yeah. It can be a bit of a hindrance when we've got Sam. Yeah. Not, Ruth's never been a hindrance, has she? No. Um, but like Sam and Jenna, as much as we love them in a way, sometimes we just want them to stand at the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when we go to a location, often... Before we've opened a board up, they'll be like, last night it says four spirits there already. Yeah. Uh, so they are ready and waiting for us. But then when we open the board up, as time goes by, people come from further afar, don't they? It's yeah. like there's two... We can go to a not haunted location and invite spirits in almost. Or we can go to a haunted location and nobody comes. It's, yeah. There's that different level, isn't there, of, of knowing who you're talking to. Yeah. It all depends what you're going for, though, doesn't it? What do you mean? Well, are you going for that com- for a conversation? Yeah. Or are you going to find out about that place? Yeah, if someone said, there's a man who I keep seeing and I want to talk to him mm. and find out who he is, and you go and then you've got outsiders coming yeah. through, it makes yeah. that difficult, doesn't it? Yeah. But, and it's all, it's all sort of pie in the sky a bit, because all we're doing is talking to what comes through on the board and making assumptions, isn't it, a little yeah. bit? Yeah. But hopefully the experience, you would have learnt to be yeah. decent at that. I think as well, a lot of the time now, we all have the same question in mind, and only one of yeah. us says it. So yeah. I think we're in tune with where yeah. we want to go, yeah. with yeah. Wh- who we're talking to. It's interesting, when I did that demonology course, mm. the, there was a section on how to summon a demon. And, and then how to... Because I thought, well, I'm not doing it if they're in a section on how to get rid of the demon afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'd love to try that. But obviously, it depends who, who else wants to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up now. Um, we used to find Janet annoying until we found out her story now. All of her. Yeah, that's it. It's good that you've come along on this journey. Right then, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry uh, the technical issues, but... You know how that goes. If there's any other questions, do you want them to send them in to you? Yeah, I've asked yeah. every time. I never get any. No feedback about what they want. So. Anything we've missed, um, yeah. make sure you're following whitehouse.investigations. Any questions, I'm sorry if we did miss some, but send them to the White House Instagram and I'm sure we'll do this again. Yes. Get, we'll get some, down. Just tell us what you want and we'll talk. Uh, thank you very much. Do I just press that now? Yeah. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.